Good morning, Rebels. Today is Monday, May 16, 2022, and this is Rebel TV. Good morning, Rebels. My name is Selena. I'm a freshman here at Savannah. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Hello Rebels, my name is Amber Ariano and I'm here to talk to you about a special event happening on campus this week. This week is an official All District Pride Week in support of our LGBTQ community and straight allies. What does Pride Week represent? It represents a week of awareness, a week of embrace, a week of choice, a week of hope, and a week of acceptance. On Wednesday during lunch on the quad stage, GSA and ASB will be hosting a Pride Week activity during lunch and welcome others throughout Savannah to participate. We appreciate your attention and support on this very special day. Rebels, yearbook distribution will be Monday through Wednesday this week in room 23. Yearbooks will only be given to the purchaser and you must have your photo ID to claim your yearbook. Hi guys, I'm Ryan Sandoval, a sophomore here at Savannah High School, and I play lead guitar and do backup vocals for my band, Stack Division. I just want to let you guys know that we be playing here live at lunch on Savannah's Quigley Quad on May 20th, the last Friday of the school year. Can't wait to see you there. Rebels, interested in learning how to make or fly drones? Then consider the Drone Summer Program through Vital Link, Fullerton College, and Cypress College. This program runs June 13th through June 16th, and you will learn how to operate a drone, licensing, drone safety, and careers in drone technology. Check your email for more information and application link. Hey seniors, it's Ms. Cortez. As I mentioned last week during our senior talk, I will be raffling two additional uh, raffle tickets or graduation tickets for those that have been in class on time, perfect attendance. So this week I'm gonna raffle for last week and then on Friday I'm gonna raffle for this week. So this week's winners are Heidi Garcia, Kimberly Maldonado, Steven Giron, Jacqueline Lee, and Sean Palma. Congratulations. I will be sending you an email with an additional barcode so that you can share with your family members. And remember seniors, you can be the next one. Good morning, Senior Rebels. A reminder that this week we'll have a Senior Exclusive Spirit Week. Please dress up and participate so we can make it a memorable experience, especially since it's our last week. Seniors, if you have any technology check out to you, please turn into main office by this Wednesday, May 18th. Seniors, if you have not done so, you may purchase your cap, gown, and tassel for $40 cash at school on Monday, May 23rd during distribution. 
Interested in developing your leadership skills? OC Human Relations is now accepting applications for the 2022 Youth Leadership Institute. This week-long institute is for any Orange County High School student. Space is limited. There is a program cost, but scholarships are available. See Mr. Bryan in the RNR room for more information. The application is due May 31st. Seniors, as you prepare for graduation, don't forget to request your final official transcript. Look for email from Ms. Mata for how to do this. Congratulations for Class 22. Hey juniors, the Residential Intensive Summer Education, or RISE program, is a free five-day, four-night program at Cal Poly Pomona that will prepare you for life as a college student. This is an awesome opportunity to get a glimpse of what being in college will be like. The dates for the program are July 31st, 2022 to August 4th, 2022, right before you come back to Savannah as seniors. Look for the email or see Ms. Lee for more information. Planet Fitness just announced a high school summer pass program that gives students free summer gym membership and the chance to win a $5,000 scholarship. Make sure to sign up starting May 16th. Seniors, for those of you attending UC in the fall, make sure to check out Destination UC on Saturday, June 4th at 10 a.m. This event will serve as a transition event for students where you have the opportunity to explore multiple identities and emotional intelligences as it relates to finding your place within the UC. Hey class of 2022, want to participate in the cap and gown walk at our feeder schools? On Monday, May 23rd at 8 a.m., participating seniors will take a bus to at least three of the schools that feed into Savannah, such as Gower, Westmont, Peter Marshall, Juliet Lowe, and Brooker Junior High. You will walk through the halls in your cap and gown while staff and students cheer you on. We'll return back to the campus by 11 a.m. It's a great opportunity to strut your stuff in your graduation gear and show the next generation what awaits them. If you're interested, fill out the Google interest form sent by Miss Nichols. Hurry, space is limited and it's first come, first serve. Savannah Softball will be hosting three camps this summer, a hitting camp as well as a pitching and catching camp that will take place from June 6th to July 15th, while the softball camp for all returners and incoming freshmen will take place on July 18th through 22nd. An emergency card must be completed on the Savannah Athletics website. Flyers can be found in room 38 or you can go talk to Miss Deeds before school or during lunch. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the last episode of Wrap It Up. We're your hosts. I'm Dulce. And I'm Ronnie. Ronnie, I can't believe this is the last episode of Wrap It Up for the school year. I know, it's like, we still have a few more weeks of the school year and we can't do any more episodes. I mean, we could, but we have all of these other projects that we're doing that we have to get done before graduation and... Yeah, I guess it's just, this is the last one. Yeah, I guess it's we just, the last one. We just have to accept that. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's just go on with the intro. The fifth annual Student Film Festival was held at Catella's Royal Crown Theater. There was a celebratory dinner before the show provided by Ms. Isabel's culinary class. Students from around the district can submit their own films and participate in this film festival. You know, during my senior year of high school, I actually participated in the film festival and actually got Best Director. <laughs> I was there. So actually, i never given a speech. Once I got the Best Director, I was just so surprised and shocked that I couldn't give my speech. So you know what? I want to do it right here for you guys. So I just want to thank everybody who helped me out in, in my films. My and senior year, I also participated in the film festival and I won Best Documentary. Oh yes, I remember that. They surprised you for that. Yeah. That was so cool. All right, but anyways, so I just want to thank everybody who participated in the films who really helped me my out. My junior year, I also participated in the film festival and I won Best Documentary. Oh, nice, second year in a row. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, um, but anyways, um, considering my speech. So, I just want to thank everybody who helped me out in my music video, and also And just then my sophomore year, which was also the first year of the film festival, I won Best Documentary. Oh, three times in yeah. a row? That's awesome, congrats, first thank of you. all. Gosh. Congrats on your Best Director. You're yeah. like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Stop it, dude. You know, can I actually have one of those? Yeah. You know what? That's actually pretty heavy. Um, yeah, take this one. This one's backwards. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah, it is backwards. Now we both have two. Yeah, look at that. Even it out. Catella High School hosted the California Green Ribbon Schools Award Ceremony and was also the recipient of a Green Ribbon Award for their efforts to go green. Congratulations, Knights. At the other end of the district, Magnolia High School is the home to another green project, the Magnolia Agri-Science Community Center. 
The Magnolia Agri-Science Community Center is an urban agriculture oasis where the community will have a chance to be educated about sustainable agricultural practices, nourishment, and community building. As we know, the school year is coming to an end. And as AOHSD alumni, Ronnie and I would like to wish you all good luck and remember to finish the year off strong. It doesn't fit. That's because it was three years ago, Ronnie. You're right. Yeah, here. I brought you this one. I knew this would happen. Oh. How's it look? I can't see it. How about now? <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say to you guys is that my wish for all of you is to become hope because we all need that. I know it feels like you're saying goodbye, but you guys will carry a piece of each other into everything that you do next to remind each other of who you are and of who you were meant to be. And I'm sure the four years were great and you will all be missed very much. Oh my gosh, Ronnie, that was like a really good speech. Were you valedictorian or something? Uh, nope. Um, I was actually like 237 in my class. So, Wait. yeah. Wasn't that the speech from The Amazing Spider-Man? From Gwen Stacy. As video is coming to an end, we just want to give our thanks to all the staff and students who support Wrap It Up. Thank you to Superintendent Matsuda for allowing us to produce the show. And big thanks to Anaheim High School for allowing us to use their broadcast room. Ronnie and I had so much fun creating this series for you guys. Well, that's it, Dulce. This is already the end of the episode. Yeah. <sighs> so sad. Are you are you crying? No. I think you're crying. It's just so sad. It, hey, it's okay. You know, we, we, we're gonna do this next year. Hopefully. Right? 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 That's it for today, Rebels. Have a murky Monday.